All right, so I'm going to discuss why I put Slick 50 PTFE treatment when I change the oil every 50,000 miles or so, although it says on here 20,000 kilometers, that's about uh, 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles, so it's talking about 12,500 miles. Uh, so every couple of oil changes they're, they're recommending. I normally put it in maybe every 50,000 miles. I, I do believe you will know when when you need to change it. And how you know is your miles per gallons drop off. So I can, with this stuff in it, using medium grade oils such as these two here, uh, I can get an extra five miles per gallon to 10 miles per gallon. Uh, so it's quite a, quite a efficiency see, jump and uh, if you think about it as a, a adding fuel in your car you'll probably make this up which is a price of about 22 pounds uh, you'll make that up in and I only use half really because it's a 750 mil bottle I'll use half of one car half of another and that'll be enough and you can make that up within about four oil four fuel tanks of fuel and then the rest of it you 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 know, you, you, you're getting better kind of fuel efficiency so I'm down to like more like 50 miles per gallon now in fact I think when I add this in I can boost it up normally to 60 miles per gallon so it's more like a 12, 13, 14 percent increase in fuel efficiency so I've even put the price here the Asda 5W30 for my Ford Focus uh, 1.5 TDZ I was 22 pounds it's 4 litres so is exactly what my car needs this is a half kind of used one half full one 5w30 again uh probably it's a bit more of a higher grade and um i can't remember how much i paid for it but i know it's the right one and uh with those two together well uh, i should get so it should boost my efficiency it's very easy to use I've, i'm not even going to show you you do your oil change you change your oil filter i normally do it every other every other oil uh, fuel, uh, oil change i change your oil filter but today I'm not just easy, simply uh, removing the oil, adding new fresh oil and putting, putting bulk cheaper oil in, putting medium grade oil in, and, all, and, and a treatment, Slick 50, and that's it. That's, that'll boost me for, I think, about 50,000 miles. As simple as that, you pour it in a straight, same hole that you pour the other oil in. Nothing else to it, really. Half a bottle, that would do, save it. Uh, it'll keep, doesn't go off. Um, that's it, really. Might give it a go. You can't. You got nothing to lose. Just note your miles per gallon on average. Go to somewhere like Holford's, or you can get them on eBay. Pay twenty pounds. Whatever. Put half a bottle in. Save it for fifty thousand miles later. Put another half bottle when you find your miles per gallon lowers, and see your difference. It's simple as that. You. I've been using this for years, and it definitely, definitely does work. So give it a go. Thanks for watching. Two bonus tips. Uh, there's normally a copper sleeve. Make sure you retrieve that on the uh, sump plug. Uh, and uh, I usually just reuse the same copper sleeve. It doesn't normally leak. Uh, if you really want to change the sleeve. Top tip though. After you change, after you've poured that in there, obviously the old oil. Have a little feel around for any metal bits because. In the past, old cars from the 90s, the 80s, if you did that, you were guaranteed to fill some metal bits. But these days, modern cars, if there's anything, I can barely feel it. It must be about a grain of the size of a very, very small piece of sand. But I don't even feel that. Not even that. So, so you, that's a bit of a reassurance, but check that. And of course, to be the last, very last tip, Sorry, the lens is a bit cloudy. Uh, you need to reset the uh, oil change light, the service light. So when you switch it on, this is what they told you. You either come up with an error or to-do list. Oil change required. So f depends on your car. It depends on your car, really. Uh, so for this car, the Ford Focus 1.5 TDCI and probably from all Fords, uh, you basically need the electrics on you don't need the engine on so the electrics on and then brake and the accelerator on press down fully for about 10 seconds something like that so i'll show you show you in real time so turn the engine off so we say electrics on 
you don't turn the engine on there's the electrics on I've got my foot so foot uh, on the brake and foot on the accelerator I don't know for what it's like for uh, automatic cars so it's thinking about it, it's thinking about it so it's what 10 seconds already it won't bother you anymore on this then it's done service oil reset complete job done last bonus tip thanks for watching hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you want